Now page four, the sputtering Democrat machine. Make no mistake, the current state of the Democrat Party is chaos. There is no true leader, is there? Barack Obama is still hovering around out there, but no clear guidance yet. This new guy at the Democrat National Committee, Tom Perez, is an Obama lackey, but he inherited an internal structural mess and is no doubt working to clean it all up. Nancy Pelosi clearly slowing down, often slipping into nonsensical gibberish when trying to make a simple point. Chuck Schumer, he's more of a bully than a leader, and Elizabeth Warren is vacuous. So who exactly is in charge? Well, 40% of Democrats polled say the party has no leader at the moment. 10% say it's still Hillary Clinton. 12% say it's Bernie Sanders, who's not even a registered Democrat. Yes, they're lost, and it's rather delicious to watch. However, they do have an informal game plan right now, and it's simple. Destroy Donald Trump. And among the Democrat leadership that is not is the rather strange congressman out of New York, vice chair of the Democratic caucus, Joe Crowley, who is taking it upon himself to execute the game plan. Mr. Speaker, pursuant to Clause 2A1 of Rule 9, I rise to give notice of my intent to raise a question of the privileges of the House. The form of the resolution is as follows. Expressing the sense of the House representatives that the President shall immediately disclose his tax return information to Congress. House will be in order. Stop the tape. All right, now I, I, I'm just thinking, did the framers of the Constitution, did they have this guy in mind when they were thinking about sending people to the House of Representatives? I'm just wondering. But has this genius from New York thought this thing through? That maybe, you know, five, ten years later that someone could go on the floor of the Congress there and demand that Joe Crowley produce his tax returns? We're talking about private, sensitive information here. And if the United States Congress can compel one American, this would be Donald Trump, to open up his tax returns and show them to the American people, why would we stop there? Why would any elected official stop there? This is opening up a huge can of worms that's never going to pass, but just the thought. Roll tape. The House will be in order. Stop the tape. By the way, this is one of two issues right now that the Democrat Party is hammering home, um, trying to lay a foundation for 2018, and it is Donald Trump's tax returns and trying to get them out, and the other is this phony nexus between Donald Trump and the Russians. Again, it's just a lot of smoke. There's no fire here, but they're just trying to confuse the American people enough to try and hoodwink them into voting for Democrats in 2018. It's pathetic. Roll tape. Members in the rear of the chamber, please cease conversations. Gentleman from New York. Mr. Speaker, worth um, expressing once again, expressing the sense of the House representatives that the President shall immediately disclose his tax return information to Congress and the American people. I want to thank Mr. Pasquale. Stop the tape. For the Let me point something out here uh, for this Congressman. The American people don't care. And there's a small modicum of people who care, but in general, the vast majority, tens of millions of Americans, don't care about this issue. Let me tell you what the American people care about, Congressman. They care about the debt and it exploding and it ruining the future of their children and their grandchildren. That's what they care about. They care about a wide open border and illegal aliens coming in here and taking jobs and putting a burden on the social safety net and yes, many times committing crimes. They care about national security, and they care about beefing up the United States military. That's what they care about, Congressman. They don't care about Donald Trump's tax returns. So this is a loser, both the Congressman and the issue. The only people, the only people who care about the president's tax returns are Americans who remain in denial that Donald Trump is occupying the White House. It's pathetic, however, it's another sign that the Democrat Party is both issueless and rudderless heading into the next election of 2018.